guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing really well. So in today's video, we're gonna be testing out a brand new vegan lip and cheek stain from The Body Shop. Body, body shop, body shop, body shop, oh, oh, oh. Gosh, it is hot in here. I'm literally sat a foot away from a radiator that is on full blast and I didn't realize until it was too late. So guys, I just wanted to quickly introduce this video because it starts off with a little vlog on Saturday of me getting ready to go out and have my COVID vaccination. I do get a little bit emotional, but nothing too drastic. I'm perfectly happy and fine. I just want you guys to know that. Obviously this isn't my typical style of video, but on Saturday I was so worried because I've been booked in on Friday to have my jowl on the Saturday and I was going to film on Sunday, I was so worried that I wasn't going to be feeling well enough to make a video that I started vlogging on Saturday. So it's just a little vlog. I hope you enjoy it. Don't worry, you're not going to see me having the injection. It's just me getting ready and when I come back. So yeah, don't worry, you don't get to see anything. But yeah, I just get a little bit emotional because, well, I think we're all just a little bit emotional at the moment. But I hope you guys are all well and I hope you enjoy this video. Hi guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Oh my goodness, I'm so nervous. So I'm just about, I'm just pretty much getting ready basically to leave the house and go get my COVID jab. So I'm just really nervous, I think because it's such a big thing, isn't it? And getting this jab is like the next step to like having a normal life again. So I guess as soon as I got booked in yesterday I was like really excited and then I got kind of nervous as well but I think it's just like a mixture of things isn't it with we're all going through mixed emotions at the minute I've been quite low lately and I think it's just yeah I think it's just finally getting to me like literally never leaving the house and yeah it's just crazy I'm looking at changing my diet and everything because like literally all of lockdown I was just like oh eating all the wrong stuff basically so I'm looking into me and Freya basically got out all the fantastic cookbooks yesterday like fern cottons and like deliciously Ella and all these kind of books I've been looking through I did my shopping yesterday got it delivering today so we've got all fantastic kind of vegetables and nutritional products coming so we just look through all the recipe books for inspiration because literally I've just oh, I've been uninspired with food for so long and at one point food was such a passion of mine like I was coming up with all these fantastic recipes that me and like the kids would enjoy like the greenest of green smoothies me and Freddie would have like every day and literally it was like my passion at one point and then I've literally gone from creating all these wonderful recipes to literally just like losing my way I think having IBS and giving up meat and stuff literally just left me kind of feeling what do I eat? Like literally just confused about everything. So many different food products like give me such reactions that I had to give up loads of things. So that's one part of my life that I'm getting back into control is my food. So I've got loads of amazing wholesome foods that come in today so I can make loads of wonderful recipes that hopefully we will all enjoy from the recipe books. Getting ready now to leave the house. So I've just had a shower, washed my hair, it might be looking a bit fluffy because I've literally just let it dry naturally while I was busy getting and organized and then blow dried it with the brush tool on my Dyson air wrap. So yeah, I might actually add a bit of glossing serum. So I always add the glossing serum before I blow dry. And then I like to add about two or three pumps afterwards as well when I remember just to give it some real kind of moisturization but also make it really glossy and you know like when you go to the hairdressers, not that I've been to hairdressers in well over a year, but um, yeah, when you do go to the hairdressers, it just kind of gives you that definition in the end, you know, especially if you've got layers and stuff and they've put some nice a serum through your hair. Smells so nice as well. I think I re need really calming smells today. Oh, I just love the smell of it. I absolutely love it. So yeah, I'm getting ready to go on an adventure, I guess. I'm not buying out in the car in such a long time. Like, I hope I've got petrol in my car. Like, literally. <laughs> 
if not I'll have to use Johnny's because he is a key worker so he is still going to work daily so he's just got back from work so I can go so at least I know I can borrow his car if I don't have any petrol in my car to get to my destination so yeah it's really weird as well because where I'm going I've not been since I last went shopping in this little town where I'm going like Christmas 2019 so <laughs> and it's only up the road like it's so local to me and yeah I've not been there in for so long so it's just strange going out getting in the car and actually going somewhere so yeah I'm not nervous now I think that's why I really needed to come on and talk to you guys because I was just feeling a little bit nervous so yeah I do have a little bit of anxiety from time to time but um, yeah I'm fine like normally because I've got asthma I get my flu jab every single year and I normally just walk in the pharmacy and she does it there and then and I don't even think about it I just go get it done but I think yeah just because what it stands for today it just made me a little bit nervous so obviously I don't need makeup to go and get my jab so I'm just gonna do a no makeup date basically and test a new product so I'm using the vitamin c skin reviver so it's got all the camo camo berries in god it smells so good i was watching oh my goodness what is it called now i can't remember what it is called i've been watching it with freya and i oh it's been absolutely eye-opening and i went to amazon rooney and rainforest and they were eating camo camo berries straight from the tree so yeah it's amazing to actually see where they are naturally grown so i think i will just quickly brush my eyebrows i'm not going to do anything dramatic with them you know I need to try soap brows I've been thinking about this so I have actually ordered a bar of soap to try it now the thing is there are special soap brow bars but I think you can just kind of use any glycerin soap so I'm going to try one of the body shot ones the only thing is I think you're kind of meant to go non-scented you know so it doesn't aggravate or irritate your skin in any way but just for the pure fun of it I think I might try it with like one of the strawberry or satsuma soap bars or something and use this brush and see what that's like but just neaten them up a little bit and then got a brand new product which just arrived like this weekend so this is a sunshine orange lip and cheek stain and this is vegan sorry my alarm just went off then I had an alarm set for a good 40 minutes before my appointment so I knew when to kind of like really prepare myself to get ready to leave so yeah this is vegan and all the other lip stains at the moment on the body shop website and at the body shop at home are vegetarian so just keep an eye out if you are vegan you could try this one but all the other ones at some point will become vegan so at the minute the other ones have honey in so that's what makes them vegetarian but this one doesn't have any honey in it so this is vegan and yeah I'm just excited to try it this is a brand new shade in sunshine orange and it's meant to kind of be a really nice shade I normally go for like really kind of pinky blushes I've never used I don't think I've ever used an orangey blusher I think once I got gifted in like a gift set at Christmas I think like a set which had like highlighters like a bit of a contour instead and it had like different blushes in as well and I think one of them was quite kind of peachy orange but I never gone out and bought anything orange but it's a brand new shade and I thought you know what they're saying it's gonna sue just about everybody I'm gonna try it so they're really liquid so it's a lip stain but don't be scared of it I've only ever used a lip stain and a cheek stain once before years and years and years ago I had is it like the rosy tint or something one the benefit one I had like gifted in a gift set years ago and I tried it but I was always a bit scared of it and then I used the red lip stain in my vampire video so I'll leave that video linked down below because I didn't do it in the most natural way as you can imagine I kind of made it look like um you know I'd been out feasting all night when I used that lip tint but this is meant to be super easy to use and it's moisturizing as well so apparently it gives like 12 hours of moisturization so let's have a look oh so it's really orangey do you know it looks kind of thicker than I was expecting I'm gonna dip it in again do you know I might shake it I like to shake um new products and things like this I don't know I just kind of have in my head I would need to shake it but maybe you don't 
So let's have another look. Ooh, see, it does look quite creamy and it does look really, really orange. Oh my goodness. I'm going to dab a few bits on. I am nervous. Ooh, and let's kind of blend that in. Hmm. Hmm, that's kind of nice. I'd never normally go for like an orangey tone, like I say, and then I'm going to dab. Like you could do this different ways, couldn't you? You kind of, kind of dab in a three so you get the apples or you could kind of dab up there. So I'm just going to use this compact as a mirror. So I'm going to do a few drops and then blend it out with my finger. So I'm just going to make it as simple as possible. Oh, right. Ah! Ooh, going to rub it in. Pat it about. Do you know, I can imagine a really nice pinky one would be lovely, but that's kind of giving some nice warmth. Oh, I like that. I didn't think. Well, I didn't know what to expect of this, but I think that's just nice for a non-makeup day. A little bit of um, added colour. I quite like that. It does make a difference. And I was thinking I could use, to keep my lips even more moisturised, I could use the lip juicer that I got last week over the top. So I'll do those dots again. I can't remember how I did them. Maybe I should have done them at the same time, but I was kind of more nervous that once it's there, it's kind of there. <laughs> I wanted to kind of get the ball rolling and blend it out. Yeah, I hope I put the same amount of products on each side. I do get a really kind of pink flush anyway. You can see just there my kind of nervousness of today's situation. Taking its toll on my face. But like I say, I don't need makeup to go out today. But I just really wanted to try this out because I was just so intrigued to see. And I thought it'd be perfect for a non-makeup day because it is moisturising, it just leaves such a subtle tint. Are they both even now? Quite happy with that. So I'm gonna, that's what my finger is looking like. So I am just gonna wash this off. Is it gonna be stained? See, I can test this all out for you and then uh, you'll know if it does stain your finger to use something else. So I'm just using a normal bar of soap. I started using, I know bar of soap's not like me, is it? But I've just started using up like all the soaps that I'd had in like gift sets from like Christmases and birthdays over the years. So I'm just literally use a bar of soap and rinsed it. And I think it's fair to say that it's all come off it's looking as pink as all the other fingers so yeah i'm quite happy with that for a non-makeup day do ignore this this is just me nervous so i'm going to use this mango lip juicer which i used in last week's video i'll leave it linked down below if you want to check it out and it's a brand new lip juicer but it's limited edition so i don't know how long it's going to stick around for because it is orangey i just thought it does enhance it a little bit. Are you worried about the time? Time's it? Ten past four. Mmm, so that is really nice. So guys, I'm quite happy with this. I guess get in the car now. I'm gonna take a banana as well just to eat a banana before I get there because I do kind of get really like low blood pressure and I know I need to eat a banana or something before I go have a needle stuck in me. So I will catch up with you. So guys, I just got here and uh, oh my goodness, I wish I could have brought you along for the journey because it was so beautiful seeing the Yorkshire Dales and all the sheep and all the horses and it was just absolutely beautiful so I've my goodness i need to get something fitted in the car so i can pop my phone in and record so you can see the beauty of just 
gosh outdoors like literally it's been so long since i've made the journey over here and oh my goodness i've literally gone through west yorkshire into north yorkshire which is oh my goodness it's something that i haven't done in such a long time because we're not being allowed to cross boundaries and then like I say, I've not been here since like Christmas 2019 when I came shopping in the town with the family. So yeah, it's been absolutely forever. But oh my goodness, I was almost in tears driving over because like I say, it's just been so long since I've seen all the... I mean, where I live, there's like sheep and hills and it's absolutely beautiful. But yeah, it's been so long since I've kind of like made that journey and you just take for granted. You just take for granted like all the things that are just literally i don't know they're just everyday life in normal life and i can't start crying because there's people in the car next to me so hold it together but yeah it was just so so beautiful so guys when we are allowed out and about again i will get something fitted in the car so i can take you out and about around the yorkshire dales because it's just absolutely beautiful so guys i've just got back home i've been crying because for the first time in a very long time i actually interacted with people today like i saw human human beings and spoke to human beings and of course they were strangers but it just I don't know it kind of like really hit me and seeing all the sheep and the horses and like the Yorkshire Dales and going to a town that I hadn't been to for so long which is literally a local town to me is just it just really hit me and then of course music on the way back I was listening to Foo Fighters and my hero was on and I was just like take him to my eye then because I was thinking like gosh there's people today who are just like heroes like vaccinating vaccinating the world so yeah it just kind of like touched me a little bit and then yeah I parked the car up got out and I don't like sharing my emotions with <laughs> with Johnny like literally I'm so like I come upstairs now shut all the doors so no one can hear me because I'm literally I don't know I'm a really open book but I find it really hard to be oh, what's the word like vulnerable I guess and show my tears and so <laughs> bless him he literally can he was at the back door in the recycling in the recycling bin and literally walking through the gate just about to start crying but of course I was thinking oh do I wait outside because I don't want anyone to see me cry but then he'd see me and then I thought I better go in and explain that I'm absolutely fine and it didn't hurt and that's I'm not crying because anything bad happened or anything I was literally just crying I was in just got home and started crying because the emotions like it's happening now emotions just came over me of like Wow, I've not interacted with a human being other than like over the internet for so, so long. You know, I've had the jab now and we're one step closer to being able to interact with human beings again and, you know, go out in our cars, go out with our families, go see friends, visit different towns and places, like visit different counties. We're getting that one step closer. So I think it's like emotions of that and then of course just being out when I haven't been out in forever and then like seeing all the sheep and the horses and stuff and the gorgeous view that I used to see pretty much every day I always had an adventure for the kids like we would always be visiting a farm or we'd be going on a day out we'd be going to the beach like literally where I live in Yorkshire it's only a couple of hours each either side to get to a beach and yeah I've just always had like adventure like woken up and been like oh let's just go to Blackpool Zoo today and all these different things and yeah it's been really weird and I've kind of felt really sad for Freddie that me and Freya did so so much when she was little and then I just think wow Freddie has oh god he's hardly even been to school and seen his friends for like a whole year we're watching Chester Zoo's live Facebook thing on Friday and I was like oh we'll have to go to the zoo when you know all this is over because freddie's never been to a zoo like literally he's six and i've never taken him to the zoo i've taken freya to a zoo three times but yeah i've never taken fred because well for a couple of years he didn't have the spare money to go but of course we've all been at home for last year so you know it's just yeah it's just weird but I've got my little thing anyway to say that I've had the COVID-19 vaccine. So in about 21 days, I think it is, I'll be called up to go and get the other one. So I had the Pfizer vaccine. The gentleman doing it was really 
like gentle. It was really good. Yeah, it didn't hurt in any way. I mean, it makes a little bit. But yes, I shall look forward to my next one when I get to interact with people again and get to see the sheep and the horses. So guys, we're now back to Monday and as you can see, I'm feeling a lot brighter today. So I was just so emotional on Saturday. There were so many different emotions running through me. There was the fact that I hadn't been out for so long. I was driving somewhere I'd normally drive about a couple of times a week on average and I'd not driven there for like over a year and lots of my friends live in the town that I was visiting and yeah it just felt really really weird to be driving that way and thinking oh my goodness I'd, I'd love to stop in at one of my friend's houses and just knowing that I couldn't and yeah then the emotions of the jab itself like seeing all the wonderful staff just getting on really quickly with what needed to be done and just seeing everybody sat in the waiting room it just really kind of I don't know it kind of like just touched my heart and made me a bit emotional and yeah but I'm feeling so much better today guys and I hope you guys are all doing well as well and I kind of wanted to share that journey because I feel it's something we're all going through I've had my ups and downs in lockdown. At the very beginning, I really enjoyed being at home with my kids. I still absolutely love having my kids at home. And yeah, I think we've all just gone through like ups and downs. Like some days it's hard to get out of my pyjamas and other days like today, I've absolutely loved popping my makeup on and coming to film. And coming to film is one thing that really gets me through lockdown. So having you guys, is just incredible so guys you just really make me so happy throughout lockdown so thank you so much so today i thought i'd come back on explain myself for saturday and then use the lip and cheek tint over my foundation so as you can see i've used a fresh new foundation the drops of glow and i've also done my eyes and my goodness i can't get over the lash hero fiber mascara this is my second time ever using it and I'm just mind blown, like literally I've not had lashes like this since wearing fake lashes, like I even feel like the second time round using it, I feel like I might have put more fibres on this time and taken my time to kind of paint on the mascara and these lashes are crazy, like literally I've never had lashes like this without having false lashes on, so yeah I'm just still like in shock with this mascara so all i've done is my makeup i haven't put any bronzer on blush on or anything that my pink nose is going through so i thought i would try with a brush and using the lip stain again so it's the same lip stain i'm going to be using the vegan one which is the sunshine orange so i'm gonna try it a little bit differently today over makeup and kind of stipple it in with a brush. So I'm going to dot it on the face again and then really kind of stipple it in with the brush. God, I still can't get over how orange it is. So I think I'm going to pop a bit on here. So this lip and cheek stain is thicker than lip and cheek stains I've used in the past that aren't body shot. Like I say, I've only ever used that one lip and cheek stain before and they are like really watery and runny and this one is really kind of it's a bit more thicker so I don't feel like there's always been a bit of a worry with lip and cheek stains that the ones that are really liquidy that they could kind of like bleed in you know to your if you've got any lines and wrinkles around your mouth or anything my mum always used to warn me about lip stains because like literally it can bleed into your skin but because these are of a thicker consistency i think they're just absolutely wonderful and you can see that is blended in really well using the brush so I think using a finger is really good for those days where you haven't got any makeup on, you're not going to be smudging any foundation around or anything. But the brush technique seems to be really good for over the top of makeup because you're not moving it around. So I did it quite high up, didn't I? So as you can see, it's quite thick. It's not like runny. So I'm literally just going to... that in so I am literally 
using it like you would for a stencil if you were stenciling something just that kind of dippling action like this i'm not rubbing in any way i'm literally stippling the brush so it's like gently patting it in and blending it in without smudging the makeup so i think that's really good it is a really nice warm orange so i use the shimmer waves in coral today i just did a really quick eye look with the shimmer waves in coral i didn't cover my nose up too well did i i might add a little bit of this just the excess to warm up the nose just bear in mind everyone that i have a really pink nose the central heating has come on and i'm sat literally right in front of a radiator it's literally a foot away from where i am sat so i've got a very warm nose as well but i know a lot of people like to add a little bit of bronzer on the nose so you can do that with this just to add a little bit of color i know some people like to add the blush to the nose as well so you could easily do that with this but yeah i really like that i'm just gonna build it up a little bit i think yeah it's so warm in front of this radiator so i'm just gonna build it up and again just stippling it in I thought I'd do the blush a little bit higher today just to get a little bit of a different look with it. I still like to do my blush like I've got on the apples of the cheeks and up slightly, but I know a lot of people like to wear their blush up here. So we can try everything, can't we guys? But I really like it. I can't, it doesn't look like it's affected the makeup in any way. It just looks like it's added a really nice hit of colour and it's blended out really nicely as well. I like that it is buildable. So if you want it really, really natural and sun kiss, then just the initial few drops and blend it in is perfect. If you want an extra hit of colour, then of course just add to it like so. I think that's really pretty so i will add it to the lips again but this time i was thinking i could do a little bit more kind of go in a few times and make it a little bit stronger than i did on saturday so I've got one coat on there and then I think I'll add a little bit more. So that is what it looks like with a couple of coats. Now, for me, I feel like it's gone too orange, but my lips can often be quite dry and I am really terrible because I actually pick my lips sometimes. Like, I think when I'm stressed or I'm a bit anxious and stuff, I do tend to pick my lips. So I am terrible. I really, really try to look after them as much as possible, but I catch myself doing it without even realizing. And I can kind of see that the orange has kind of really settled in the middle there. And for me, it just looks a little bit too orange but I absolutely loved it with just the one layer but I will go over with the mango lip tint again and see if it just helps to settle it down Yeah, I just feel like for me, it's too orange in these areas where I am dry. So if you do have dry lips, I'd just be careful with the application of it and maybe just try one layer of it or just like a layer at a time and see how it best works for you. So overall, I'm quite happy with the lick and cheek stain. I think on my lips, I will just use the one layer and I think it's really lovely on a no makeup day just to add a hint of colour to the lips. And then on a day like today, if I want to 
more of a nude look I could just put the one layer on full face of makeup and then a lip juicer or lip butter on top which I think is a really nice way to do it for the cheeks I love the cheeks the most I think it's a really nice hit of color I'm definitely going to be playing around with all the other lip tints that I've got I've got a pink one that I've never even opened and of course in the vampire video I use the pomegranate red one and I'm definitely going to be playing around with those a bit more because I think with my coloring the pink or the red one might be really really nice on a non-makeup day and I'm definitely going to play around with them more when I do full face of makeup as well because I just love the overall color of it of course because it is liquid there's no caking in any way I'm using the stippling action I think works really well over makeup because it doesn't lift the foundation off so if you set your foundation with powder or you've just got foundation on using the stippling action is going to really prevent the foundation from lifting away and smudging on the face so I think stippling is the way forward to go when you've got a full face of makeup on but yeah I'm impressed and I can't wait to play with the other colors so I just started doing a course as well called dare to discover now I have no oomph at the minute to do anything and this course is already helping me apart from doing my youtube videos like I love doing Doing YouTube videos. I love editing them. I love talking to all you guys. But apart from that, I'm not finding energy to get up and sort the rest of my life out. So starting this course already, I've started to get a better mindset with food, get a better mindset with like allocating my time and stuff. Because in lockdown, I've had no way apart from getting up and sorting the kids out and making sure they're on the meetings and stuff. For me, I've had no strategy to life at all. I just really like everything went out the window with lockdown. So this course is really helping me out. There's like a whole workbook that I downloaded. If you don't have a printer, you don't have to download it. You can do it all on the computer and it just gives you the inspirations and the ideas of how to work it all out. So to free up your time, get your goals, just get the best out of you. Yeah, it's just incredible. So there's like videos step by step as well. So Oh, it's just really inspiration so if you guys want to check it out I will leave it linked down below in the description as well so guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you are all doing well my goodness this talk of the kids are going back to school one of my friends like messaged me and said can't believe it so we might see tonight whether the kids will be going back to school and I'm really happy for them if they are Freya's in a final year of primary school so it's been really good to get her back and of course Freddie's at that stage where he's like making friends he's only in year one so it'd be amazing to get him back with his friends as well they are going back I'm gonna really miss them so I'll have to make the time that we've got left at home really special so guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you all keep him well and I will see you all next Tuesday thanks guys bye body body shop body shop body